Hello, so today's video is going to be a summary of linear equations. So linear equations is a topic you would have seen in high school maths or in secondary school maths. Um, so linear equations that you can write in the form y equals mx plus c. So the key thing to remember is that this c value, this c value at the end there, is called your y-intercept. So on a graph, this would be your c value there. And your m, let me just make a note of this, that this is your uh, y-intercept. And your m value is called your gradient. So this up here is the gradient. So the gradient is just a measure of how steep your straight line is. So the gradient is just literally uh, the change in y divided by the change in x between any points, any two coordinates, any two pairs of coordinates on your straight line like this. So uh, this triangle symbol just means changing. Let's make a note of this, that this means change in so changing your x value uh, changing y values so the difference between that y coordinate there i call this y1 and this y coordinate there so the change in this y coordinate these y coordinates divided by the change in these x coordinates i call this x1 here and i call this x2 there so that's how you measure a gradient so change in y divided by change in x of course if it was a slope like this instead this would now be a negative gradient Let's make a note of this. So this is a negative gradient, whereas this black one up here is a positive gradient because um, the y is changing, it's, it's getting negative. So when you take a point there and a point there, the y is actually decreasing uh, as the x increases. So it's a decrease, uh, it's a decreased change in y divided by an increased change in x. So that's why this is a negative gradient, and this up here would be a positive gradient. Gradient. So that's just a summary of what, uh, yeah, how, how these straight line graphs work and uh, how the equation codes basically information about the, the steepness of the graph and the y-intercept of the graph. Um, okay, so yeah, kind of relating back to that pre uh, previous slide then. So let's say you've got a, a graph y equals an x plus c, could be y equals 2x plus 1, could be y equals minus 5x plus 100, could be anything in that form. Uh, we're going to let x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 be coordinates that lie on this line. So again, perhaps something like this. Perhaps this is, well, this would be x1, y1 there. And this coordinate up there would be x2, y2 there. So let's say we've got a straight line like that. So the gradient, again, is your change in y, but your change in x. So in this case, again, it's your change in y values. So, uh, finish, so starting from your final y coordinate, this y2 there and take away your first y coordinate, y1 there. Uh, so that's your change in your y values, your y coordinates. How about your change in your x coordinates? So it's x2 take away uh, x1. Sorry, that should be an x there. Um, that is your change in y over your change in x, your rise over your run, if you prefer it like that. Um, and sorry, there should be a two there. And it's important as well that you keep the coordinates consistent as well. So your second, so it could actually be the other way around. It could be your first y coordinate take away your second y coordinate. But that means that on the bottom, you must have your first x coordinate take away your second uh, x coordinate. So they must be consistent. So the second coordinates take away the first ones or the first ones take away the second ones. You'll still get the same result. It's just important to keep the consistency in the order in which you do the subtraction. Uh, and to obtain the c value. So let's say you've, you've got those coordinates there. Um, you've then calculated the gradient between these two points on your straight line. Uh, let's say you now need to find the C value to get the equation. So you could either substitute in X equals X1 or um, and Y equals Y1, or alternatively, you can substitute in X equals X2 and Y equals Y2. So it doesn't matter which one you pick. You can either substitute this coordinate into the equation or this one into the equation. Uh, you'll get your C value regardless. And we'll do an example like this now so you can actually see. So the question says, find the equation of the straight line connecting the coordinates minus 4, 7 and 1 minus 2. So how are we going to do this? So step one will be to find our gradient. So to find the M value. And again, the formula for the M value, gradient is change in Y divided by change in X. You'll rise over your run. Change in Y divided by change in X. So if we, uh, again, use this rule that we used before, uh, your second Y coordinate take away your first Y coordinate, or it could, again, it could be the other way around. You just got to keep the consistency with your X values on the bottom on your denominator. But let's just do second Y coordinate minus two, 
take away your first one minus seven. So that take away that. And then we've got to do now because we chose the second one first, the second y coordinate first, we must choose the second x coordinate first. So one take away minus four. So one minus minus four. And that's going to give us minus nine on the top and then a five on the bottom because one minus minus four is one plus four. And that's five. So therefore, we know the equation is going to be of the form y equals minus nine over five x and then plus a c. Now, the next step is to actually work out what that plus c is going to be. And that's to find, just make a note of this, so to find c. Uh, and again, same idea as we mentioned here. You just want to substitute in either this coordinate, your first coordinate or your second coordinate into the equation. And then you can rearrange to get c. Let's just substitute in this second coordinate just because the number there looks easier. Uh, so sub in, so substitute uh, x, y equal to one minus two. And if we do that, we get y minus two is equal to ni uh, negative nine over five times x positive one, then plus a c. I'm just gonna keep the writing on the same page. So I'm making everything smaller. So then we get, yeah, so negative two is equal to negative nine over five plus C. So therefore C is going to be equal to minus two plus nine over five. Now negative two is just the same as negative 10 over five plus nine over five. Nine take away 10 is minus one. So you get minus one over five is your C value. So therefore the equation connecting these two coordinates, the equation, is going to be y equals negative 9 over 5x, so negative 9 over 5x, and then plus the c, which is minus 1 over 5. So that would be our equation, connecting this coordinate with this coordinate with a straight line. So perhaps something like this, you've got your y-intercept of negative 1 over 5 there, that's your y-intercept, and your gradient is negative nine over five, uh, five, so nearly two, nearly a gradient negative two. So perhaps something like, um, something like, well, not like that, but you know, you know, you get the point, like a straight line like that, uh, minus four, seven up there, that could be minus four, that could be seven, and one here, and minus two there, for example. So that's gonna be our, our straight line. Okay, so uh, yeah, there are obviously different ways in which we can write the equation y equals mx plus c. So the first way is obviously y equals mx plus c. So m is your gradient, c is your y-intercept. So that's one way in which you can express the equation of a straight line on an x, y pair of axes. You can also write it like this here, ax plus by plus c equals zero. So I mean, if we go back to this example here, what we could actually do is multiply everything in the equation by five. And that, that's going to give us 5y equals negative 9x negative 1, just by multiplying the whole equation by 5. And then we can actually add the 9x to both sides, add 1 to both sides, we get 9x plus 5y equals 1. So that's another way in which we can write or denote the equation of the straight line in this. Um, sorry, let me actually do this again. Sorry, this should be a, uh, a plus 1 there. Sorry, plus 1 equals zero just by adding the one to both sides as well um okay so that's another way we could do it um and again we can actually so so to ob obtain the gradient from this second form what we can do is just rearrange it to make y the subject of the formula that's the key thing to do so we're gonna uh take away the c from both sides take away the ax from both sides we get this and then from there we can divide both sides by b we get y equals minus a over b lots of x, then minus c over b. So in this case, uh, our gradient, our m value, uh, we're just going to use the m value to uh, denote the gradient, uh, that would be minus a over b in this case. And our y-intercept value, sorry, I'll actually, instead of using the c here, I'll use a different, I'll just call it y-intercept, just to not confuse things. Uh, so y-intercept is going to be minus c over b for this specific number two case. Or you can also write the equation of a straight line in this third form here. So y take away y1, where y is some random y coordinate on the line, uh, is equal to m times by x minus x1, where x1 is some x coordinate that lies on the line. So again, let's say 
if I just try and fit in like a diagram here, uh, let's say this is x1 there. Let's say this is y2 there. Sorry, y1, my, my bad. Uh, so it's a coordinate, any coordinate you like on this line. If you do y take away that y coordinate and set that equal to the gradient times x take away the x coordinate, um, that's another way you can write the equation of a line to. Um, that would be exactly equivalent to this format up here. Um, and this formula comes from the fact that we know the gradient, uh, yeah, the gradient formula here for a uh, straight line is the change in y over change in x. And actually, if you divide both sides of this equation here by x1 minus x1, you get y minus y1 divided by x minus x1 equals m. And that's literally the gradient of a straight line by definition. So that's kind of where this third uh, equation comes from. Um, and also the last point for today is calculating the midpoints between two coordinates on a straight line. So let's say you've got a coordinate here, x1, x uh, y1, and x2, y2 is your second one. So the midpoint is going to be the average of the mean average of the x coordinates and the mean average of your y coordinates. Um, it's, it's literally that simple. So let's say you want to find, as an example, I'll just call it MP for midpoint. So midpoint of three, four, and minus seven, minus eight. So that's going to be equal to the average of your x coordinates. So three plus minus seven over two, and the average of your y coordinates. So three plus minus eight over two. Uh, you can work this out. So uh, three take away seven will be uh, minus four. Minus four divided by two is going to give you a minus two. So minus two. And your second one, four take away eight is going to be minus four. Minus four divided by two is actually, again, minus two. So that would be your midpoint for these coordinates there. So, yeah, this is just a summary of linear equations, um, y equals mx plus c equations, and also the key point of knowing the formula for the gradient, knowing how you can work out the c value uh, given uh, two coordinates that lie on such a straight line, and also a summary of other forms in which you can write the equation uh, of a straight line, this first one here, second one here, and also this one here, which are all equivalent ways you can write the equation of a straight line.